let us discuss a couple of problems on evaluation of triple integral let us initially discuss the problem evaluate integral 0 to 1 integral 0 to 1 integral 0 to 1 e power x plus y plus z dx dy dz let it be denoted by the letter i so that we can consider i is equal to we notice that the limits for all the three variables are constant only so it doesn't matter whether we integrate with respect to x first or y first or z first let us now take the first set of limits as those for x that means we write the integral as integral z is equal to 0 to 1 integral y is equal to 0 to 1 integral x is equal to 0 to 1 e power x plus y plus z is now written as e power x into e power y into e power z dx dy dz. Now initially we integrate with respect to x. When we integrate with respect to a, y and z are treated as constant. So I have to consider integral of e power x only. Integral of e power x is e power x. So the integral now becomes integral z is equal to 0 to 1, integral y is equal to 0 to 1, e power y, e power z, multiplied by e power x, evaluated at x is equal to 0 and 1, followed by the differentials dy dz. Substituting the limit, you get e minus 1. So that e minus 1 can be taken outside the integral sign to get e minus 1 into integral z is equal to 0 to 1, integral y is equal to 0 to 1, e power z into e power y dy dz. Now, we integrate with respect to y. That means we have to integrate e power y only. e power y and integration becomes e power y. So, the integral now takes the form e minus 1 into integral z is equal to 0 to 1, e power z into e power y evaluated at 0 and 1 followed by the differential dz. Substituting the limit for y, we observe a minus 1 is another expression we get. So the integral becomes a minus 1 whole square integral z is equal to 0 to 1 e power z dz. Or e power z is to be integrated now, we get e minus 1 whole square into e power z to be evaluated at 0 and 1. Substituting the limit, we get another e minus 1 or finally the value becomes e minus 1 whole cube. Let's discuss the second problem. Evaluate integral 1 to 3, integral 1 by x to 1, integral 0 to root of x y of x y z dz dy dx. We observe that here one set of limits are depending on x and y. So they shall be limits for z. Then as a consequence the other limits depending on x will be the limits for y. The constant limits will be the limits for x. So given integral can be observed as integral x is equal to 1 to 3, integral y is equal to 1 by x to 1, integral z is equal to 0 to root of x y of x y z dz dy dx. Because the limits for z are depending on x and y, limits for y are depending on x and limits for x are constant, but perform integration with respect to z first then with respect to y and then with respect to a. Therefore, we write dz dy dx. Now we integrate with respect to z. Integral of z becomes z square by 2. So the integral becomes integral x is equal to 1 to 3, integral y is equal to 1 by x to 1, xy into z square by 2. To be evaluated it, z is equal to 0 and root of xy dy dx. So, Substituting the limit, we get integral x is equal to 1 to 3, integral y is equal to 1 by x to 1, 
एक्स स्क्वायर वाई स्क्वायर बाय टू डिवाइड ये आर बिकम्स इंटीग्रल एक्स इज़ इक्वल टू वन टू थ्री अगेन इंटीग्रेटिंग विथ रिस्पेक्ट टू वाई गुड वी गेट एक्स स्क्वायर वाई क्यूब बाय सिक्स बिकॉज़ यू हैव टू इंटीग्रेट विथ रिस्पेक्ट टू वाई एक्स इज़ ट्रीटेड एज़ अ कांस्टेंट इंटीग्रल ऑफ़ वाई स्क्वायर बिकम्स वाई क्यूब बाय थ्री सो दैट इज़ वाई एक्स स्क्वायर वाई क्यूब बाय सिक्स टू बी वैल्यूटेड इट वाई इज़ इक्वल टू वन बाय एक्स एंड वन एंड देन Minus one by six x dl. Integration gives x cube by eighteen minus one by six of log x to be evaluated at x is equal to one and three. We know that log one is zero. Therefore, we get twenty-seven by eighteen minus one six of log three minus one by eighteen plus one six of log one or On simplification, we get 13 by 9 minus 1/6 of log 3. Let us discuss one more problem. Evaluate integral 0 to pi by 2, integral 0 to a cos theta, integral 0 to root of a square minus r square, r dz dr d theta. We observe that. The first set of limits zero and root a square minus r square will be the limits for z. Zero and a cos theta will be the limits for r. Zero and pi by two will be the limits for theta. Therefore, the integral becomes, or the given integral is the same as integral theta is equal to zero to pi by two. Integral r is equal to zero to a cos theta. Integral z is equal to zero to root of a square minus r square, r d z d r d theta. We have variable limits for z depending on r. Therefore, we write d z first. Limits for r depend upon theta, so we write d r next. Limits for theta are constant, therefore we write d theta next. Now we can integrate with respect to r. We have got We have to integrate with respect to z. Integral dz is z, so that the integral becomes integral theta is equal to zero to pi by two. Integral r is equal to zero to a cos theta, r into z, to be evaluated at zero and root of a square minus r square, dr d theta. Substituting the limit, we get integral theta is equal to zero to pi by two. Integral r is equal to zero to a cos theta, r into root of a square minus r square, dr d theta. Now we integrate with respect to r, observing that r into root of a square minus r square becomes the derivative of a square minus r square to the power three by two multiplied by a constant. We get minus one by three. Integral theta is equal to zero to pi by two of a square minus r square to the power three by two to be evaluated at r is equal to zero and a cos theta d theta. Substituting the limit, you get minus one by three. <coughs> Integral theta is equal to zero to pi by two a cube sine cube theta minus a cube d theta. For integration, we replace. Sin cube theta in terms of sin theta and sin three theta. We know that sin three theta is equal to three sin theta minus four sin cube theta. So substituting for sin cube theta, we get minus one by three of integral theta is equal to zero to pi by two a cube into three sin theta minus sin three theta. Whole divided by four minus a cube d theta. Now that we can integrate with respect to theta to get minus one by three, three a cube by four into integral of sine theta is minus cos theta plus a cube by twelve into integral of minus sine three theta that is cos three theta. Then minus a cube into integral d theta means the theta. 
to be evaluated at 0 and pi by 2. Cos pi by 2 0, cos 3 pi by 2 is 0, cos 0 is 1, at theta is equal to pi by 2, a cube theta will have contribution. So, substituting the limit, you get minus 1 by 3 into 3 a cube by 4 minus a cube by 12 minus pi a cube by 2 that is equal to minus one third of 2 a cube by 3 minus pi a cube by 2 or it can be rewritten as a cube by 3 into pi by 2 minus 2 by 3. This completes the problem.